What's up, guys? It's your buddy Collector Dude Spider Verse 800. And today, oh boy, looks like we're gonna do our final rant for my final rant for March 2024. And quick note, guys, the reason why I didn't review on that show Kiff, Kiff, it's because honestly, I don't really watch that show as much as I watch Bluey. Spongebob and that new show on Nickelodeon called Rock Paper Scissors, which is a really great show by the way I might reveal Rock Paper Scissors sometime in April. So yeah, um So today I'm gonna do a movie review slash Rant on one of the most disappointing DCEU films of all time the flash Starting Ezra Miller and Michael Kidd. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that so what basically the plot is is about um we're gonna talk about um sorry the flash's back we're gonna talk about like the flash's back like his backstory about he actually his mom actually died and um he has to he goes back in the past and then he meets this guy named Batman and um they both Flash and Batman meet Supergirl. And then um, the F Flash actually needs to find his... Um, the Flash has, uh, ha actually needs to find his mother back. Yeah, so it's just a pretty dumb story. That I just don't really care about talking about it that much. Now, what do I think of this movie? Honestly, the first time... Shit. The first time that I watched this film, I actually thought it was not that bad. It was actually pretty good. But now, after I think about it, yeah, honestly, this film does not age well at all. Yeah, I'd rather watch a better DCEU film like Blue Beetle. That, that actually adds a good example as a DCEU film. I don't know why that movie flopped at the box office. But at least, hey, at least Aquaman 2 only had the once, but at least the DCEU only had one success film this year. And it's actually Aquaman 2. Gosh darn it. Which, I haven't seen Aquaman 2. Oh, shit. I haven't seen Aquaman 2, but I'll, I heard it's actually not that bad, so I might, re I might watch it. But still, I will still hate Ember Heard after all she did. Yeah. And... F when the first trailer came out, I was like, oh boy, this film is gonna suck. But then, um, I, when I watched the second trailer, I actually thought it was, ah, this looks not that bad. This actually looks pretty good. And yes, I missed out my chance of seeing this movie in theaters because, honestly, because of its controversy with Ezra Miller and Elemental being on the same day of that movie. At Elemental's way better than this movie, by the way, thank god. Um, thank God Elemental did a lot better at the box office than The Flash. And so, um, yeah, this film is just really boring. It's a film that just amazes our disappointment, and the action scenes are not even that good. Yeah, this doesn't even feel like an action movie. Yeah, I, I, I heard that James Gunn said, Oh, The Flash is gonna be one of the best superheroes movies of all time. But then it turns out it's one of the worst superhero films of all time. Yeah, and this even got like a mixed score on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, and um Honestly, there's the action the action scenes are just pretty boring. And the climax is even pretty stupid as well. It's it's really boring. It's cliche. And um do I have any positives of this movie? Well, surprisingly, yes. I'm just gonna say, Michael Keaton did a decent job as Batman. Not bad, just, de he actually did not that bad. He just did a pretty decent job, but I just hope, for the love of God, he could improve his, um, he could, he, just please, Michael Keaton, please don't do mid in your, um, in your acting for, um, for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which is a sequel to Beetlejuice to come out in September, which, yeah, I'm really hyped for that film. 
Um, yeah, yeah, I can't believe, um, I actually used to like, yeah, thankfully I didn't waste my money to go see this film. Honestly, if you want to watch a better DCEU movie, just go watch Blue Beetle. That is actually, that's actually a really underrated film from the DCEU. Or heck, even, even if you think, even if you, if you heard some people saying, oh, Aquaman 2 is not that bad, maybe you should go watch that. Or maybe even Shazam, which Shazam was just okay-ish, I guess. Um, so yeah. And also, um, like, the fact that, uh, the fact that Ezra Miller was actually joining this movie, uh, this could have never happened. The controversy should have never could have never happened if Ezra Miller did his crimes, yeah. yeah. And heck, they even, the, the crew even invited him in the, in the, in the movie premiere of this, of this film. Like, nah, that's just crazy, DC. How could you, DC? Yeah, rest in peace to the DCEU, man. Yeah, they've been, they've been doing all, into a lot of trouble. Yeah, in the DC, in the DCU, they have been getting into a big trouble. I think ever since um, Black Adam came out. No, wait, wait, wait. No, yes, yes. Ever since Black Adam came out, yeah, D the DCEU is getting is getting in, in got in a lot of trouble. So that's why they decided to stop their films after Aquaman two. So overall, the Flash is one of the worst superhero films I've ever seen in my life. Worse than Suicide Squad 2016. Worse than, um, damn. Worse than Spider-Man 3. Worse than, um, Justice League 2017, etc. Whew! So that just goes for my rant on this disappointing film. If you want to watch a better superhero movie that is actually bad, but other people find it bad, but you find it good, watch the Marvels. I mean, the Marvels, the Marvels is actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. It's not that bad. And honestly, yes, guys, I do plan to watch Madam Web. Maybe sometime in April. I may do a rant on that movie sometime in May. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I cannot wait to round that movie. I heard it's really, really bad. So, overall, I give The Flash a 2 out of 10. Yeah. Again, my only positive of this film is just Michael Kia's acting was pretty decent. Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned for a little April Fool's video that I'm going to do on a Disney movie that everybody hates but everybody else likes and to roast trolls band together fan tells in one all right bye guys